the Raw for Looking, starring Jimmy G and Billy B. Today we're going down the lake to look for lookies. We're going to eat them raw. Yeah! I'm going to get salmonella. As if you didn't say Philly Pate for the intro. <laughs> Damn it. I just like to imagine that with like a, a banjo version of the Benny Hill face. Like, <laughs> it sounds like that should be played on a banjo. Or just like, you know, just like general silly banjo. He's like, <laughs> you know, like that generic banjo song. Like that one that uh, Cricklin did in his fucking like opossum video. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. You didn't even do it in fucking two. You did it out of. That wasn't even in the right time. Not time code. No, well, like I said. Time the, signature. The first half of the sentence was. But then I, yeah, but then you fucking swapped time signatures midway through yeah, like a doofus. I can do that because that's just me. You know. It's not one way or another, it's. One way or another, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. Know, I don't want to sing shit. the whole fucking line, did I? I just want to sing, give it the audience a taste. At least do it the right the fucking time signature. God damn it. Alright, fucking Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> this, this knob. Please really read in this. I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. Question mark. I was told. I was told whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony. Why are you speaking so far? Because he's British. <laughs> what? <laughs> try and say the next line as fast as you humanly can. Okay. If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What, are we just going to have it that he talks insanely fast now? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty in the story? I will do anything to get me to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you charge an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? Ugh. <laughs> Edgeworth is just fucking Rick. <laughs> just because, you know. All I know is that we can hope to get every defendant to come guilty. Morty. <laughs> so I made that my policy. Edgeworth. You've changed. Hmm. Phoenix, you know him. Don't expect any trash spe speechment. <laughs> Weenix Pride? that just has pure caffeine in it. Yeah, it's called crack. Or maybe a syringe that just has pure smartness in it. Yeah, it's called crack. <laughs> Good job. Well, the court will be starting soon. What? But wait. You're an events attorney, isn't even you yet. They're in the... I'll be defending myself. Ba ba ba. What? What the fuck is in her mouth? Japan. <laughs> the entire... <laughs> the entire Japan is just in her mouth. Okay, the entirety of this. Japan is in my mouth. I have some past your god. <laughs> Arigato. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. We haven't seen him in fucking ages. Phoenix? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. 
As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the, we will, we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. What? He already knows why, huh? Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an explanation to the court? Why didn't this witness testify on the trial against Miss Maya Fay? Don't say Maya ever again. Mayonnaise Fay. I was just about to make that joke. God damn it. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides... At the time, I thought Miss May's opinion was all we needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanour. <laughs> I'd like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do a bluster con voice and two other British voices! Why is everyone British? You're making them British. Well, I'm gonna give them the Patrick voice then. You wish to know the title of my personage? <laughs> uh, your name? Yes, that's what I said. Oh dear, do my loco locutions? Fucking talk English, Red White. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Cop. Did you know the victim, Miss M Mia Fay? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel at the night of the murder? Correct! Anyway, this is the murder from there. Ahem. Well, I'll tell you what I already know. You already know. Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. And fucking... Have a consistent voice, you two! I don't know who's talking! Ow, ow, ow. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. That's the wrong voice! <laughs> Let him have it, Phoenix. <sighs> okay. Is King of the Hill a good show? I've never seen it. Really? Well, I was watching this uh, podcast, right? With the voice of uh, Dale Gribble. Yep. Yeah. It was Did interesting. you see the podcast? A little bit. He was very loud. And I've watched a little loud American channels already. But fuck, he was loud. <laughs> Let's on. see. I believe it was nine o'clock, I believe. You sure you believe that? I just don't know if you really believe it. I need you to tell me one more Just time. pump it into my veins! I was quietly pursuing fine, uh, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bellman coming from outside. I'm gonna get that there Kirby, I swear. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was not other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Do you remember the controls and how this works? No. Okay, so you press, present, all that. If things occur as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Do a cross-examination. 
Ooh. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Morty, you're a court examination! <laughs> so it's L to press, R to present. L to press to question it, yeah? Yeah. Hold it! Because I'm always absolutely perfect, you know? No, 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 you're not getting away with that. You are so mistrusted, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for nine o'clock. It happened soon after the room service arrived. It also happened after Will Falcon broke his voice. Oh, God damn it! True, the bellboy brought the copy saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. Ahem. This is your concern? Senate lawyer, Miss May received a copy from outside the room. Of course he could not see me. He would need x-ray vision to pull off something like that. Shit. Tell us, what were you doing at the time? Hmm. Question it all. Is that Windows doing an update? Sometimes I worry that Windows is going to update during a recording. It's just like, no, don't do it. I hate Windows. <laughs> it must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. Surprise, I turned to look at the building across the way. You've already read this. You didn't question it? Well, I mean, what, what the fuck are you impressed by that? So you're reading your papers until you heard that sound. But of course, I have no snoop peeping out window. Where's <laughs> your fucking old man head? How could you see that from the window? Spiky head? You are spiky. I like how that's just it. Objection! What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. I think the later games have better um, cross examination music than this one. Miss May clearly stated the assailant looked like a girl. <laughs> I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Count in both eyes. 40! 40? Don't add them together. And what did you do then? <laughs> That's a fucking smug asshole right there. What was Miss May doing at the time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did Not like that clothes we can in use. Office phone? No, Oliver, that has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bald inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this fay woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. <laughs> oh, I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. Can you give me a little bit more detail about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprehend it. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I'm always absolutely, positively per Perhaps you could change this test. I can't change that voice. <clears throat> Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Yeah, but something you already have it, don't you?
used Uber? What are you trying to do here? Was it, didn't, wasn't there something saying she ran to the right? You passed over it twice! <laughs> a little more. Go that way. Go to there. Uh. <laughs> you dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. Well, that di directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated the victim ran right. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. It is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. I love that sprite. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim here. If the victim ran to the left, as you claimed she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. <laughs> she would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Ha! <laughs> Whoa! You know what that sprite there, not that one, but the previous one reminds me of? It reminds me of the king from fucking, um... Triforce Heroes, you know? Oh! You know, fucking, that was way too accurate. I'm gonna see if I can fucking get it. Like, oh! Alright, get it up and I'll tell you how accurate it is. It's like fucking. Oh! You know? Like, he sounds like a really stupid ghost. Okay. Triforce Heroes. Go keep going. This is important. Oh, it is, but I don't, I don't need, need to read it. I don't need to voice at all. You do. Triforce Heroes. Ki what the fuck is a king? King voice. Not the. What did you do that for? But where's the. Like. King. King. What's the fuck? Don't waste time. Yeah. You're wasting time. You're wasting time. <laughs> it's hilarious. His face. What the fuck is it? True. King. What the fuck do you call a? a oh! What do you call that? Yell. I guess I yell. King voice. Voice clip. Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. I think it's in like the opening cutscene. What? Then I can't find it! Pick one. This is gonna be, this is the rest of the episode. Me ignoring the game and me trying to find this. King. King. Both witnesses are telling the truth. Yeah. There is one scenario that we explain their conflicting accounts. Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he was not in the hotel, then where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay Co, of course. More specifically, he was standing there. I can't find it, and that saddens me. There's like a part in it where he goes like, "Whoa!" That fucking. He misses me, own fucking Edgeworth. Oh, like, fucking, 
It's hilarious. How do you find it though? Fucking pause it. I'll see if it's in the opening cutscene. You'll know it! You'll know it when you hear it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm waiting. Not hard enough. Yeah, he's about to do it, I think. Does he? Just wait. Does he not do it? I know, he's hilarious. No, I'm laughing at the fact he's not doing it. <laughs> he didn't do it. <laughs> Fuck me. That was a like, gigantic waste of time. He didn't- FOR FUCK'S SAKE! He's supposed to go- oh, It's hilarious! Because it's embarrassing! Yeah, that was awful. Anyway, can you keep reading? No, I'm finding this. Fuck's sake, man. This game's just heating up. <laughs> okay, you read it then. No. He does it, I know he does it in gameplay. So like, first 15 minutes perhaps? Mr. Your Honor. I know he does it here. She ran to the left. I'll read this out though. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered her the final blow. Ha! You're funny. Fucking meme with the king. I know he does it. Just wait. Don't do anything. I'll find him. I'll find him going. Oh! You know. I can't even remember what the context was for talking about this. The context was that I wanted. I wanted you to. Mine was fucking accurate. He goes like. Oh! It's fucking hilarious. Oh, this fucking video doesn't talk about the king. He doesn't go talk to the king. God damn it, man. Oh, fucking fuck you, IGN. <sighs> okay? Fucking. Oh! It's fucking. It's hilarious. Fucking prove your whatever. I need a drink because I've been going. Oh, too much. You Americans always so impatient. You are American. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, wait, hold on a minute. Uh, stretching my legs. I love doing it. First, that is what comes after. <laughs> that is what becomes. That is comes before what happens next. You do speak English, right? Please sit back, relax. I will try and use simple words for your benefit. First, she ran to the left, and then. I'm gonna see if I can. I didn't hit anyone. That's not good. I'm not hiding anything. Maybe scream will work. Fucking... 
Has no one put the fucking sound effect of it? No one's put the sound effect. Why? That makes no sense. I would have thought everyone would put that sound effect on YouTube or something. He's gone to shit, Phoenix, in this. His fucking cross examination is terrible. What? I'm not listening. Right! If you claim it, there's no. Okay. Ugh, I'm tired. Yeah. May I continue? Um. Do you get what you have to do here? Mm -hmm. Do you? I think so. Clearly not. <laughs> You've already missed it. Oh, wait, I'm meant to be Ravens. <laughs> and please excuse me for not testifying to this sooner. I just can't get that fucking... What do you think, Phoenix? And you're meant to be reading too. Oh, yeah. Let him laugh an hour. I'll see him with the smile off his face. God damn it, we got so focused on fucking... Oh, that we forgot to read. No. Da, 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 da. That. Oh. There is a uh, something here. So everybody use that. No, actually, I think you. No, I understand what you have to do. Yeah. She does an attack. Ah, uh, you did it on the wrong statement. Oh. Oh, yeah. What's that bar that came out there? That's your health. Ah! Oh, fuck, I didn't even see that. Yeah. You only fail so many times. Is that the first statement? This one. Yeah, when you first ran to the left. Yeah, I think that might be the one you have to do it on. Or not, never mind. I was wrong. This might be one of those cases where you have to press things more than once. Let me try pressing everything again. Before you do that anymore. No, don't do it again! No, no, no. <laughs> what about the, the glass? I think that's for later. No, that's the one you have to do it on. You hit her twice. Never mind. We both screwed up. I think we've got him. That's the one you do it on. You have to do it on the hit her twice one. We both fucked up. You told me I already missed it. Me. Yeah, I mean, you kind of did in a way. Not really. You said that before that. Or not. What? <sighs> Don't do it anymore. You'll have to do it all over again. Try pressing things more. I suppose I was, and please excuse me, we're going to have to find out this sooner. 
Okay, press from the beginning. So press the first statement, and then the second one, and then the third one. What do you mean by that? That is what I'm about to explain. You Americans are always so impatient. It does not become you. Yeah, it's not that one. Actually, it might be the wrong evidence we're using. Yeah, I think so. I think it's something to do with the fact that the victim was alive a few minutes after being hit. And he said final blow. But then that could still make sense. I do not remember what one... I think this might have been one I had to look up a look through for. Because I think this one was a bit bullshit, actually. In terms of the logic. That's all right, that's good. What was it? God damn, let me think hard. I think it could be that. Stop it! Um, that is what missed me so. Is it that one? Yeah, that's a bit weird. I'm trying to remember. I think it is that statement you do it on. What evidence do you have? What evidence do you have? Let me like, check. Right where we want him. Press R. Let me see. Let me see. Not that. Uh, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. Could be that. I don't think it is that, no. Like in the form of a statue. No. No. Possibility. No. Do you want me to look this one up? Just in case. Just so I can jog my own memory. Sure. Okay. Here's my guess. Huh? Oh. Okay, so you are right. It is the autopsy report on the final one. Yeah, that one. That one was always bullshit. <laughs> that one makes no sense to me. Didn't we already try this? Uh, no, we tried it with the uh, autopsy report. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get the logic behind that one, if you want me to be honest. Oh, I guess that, yeah. What do you have to say to that? It's still bullshit. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told the court that you were absolutely perfect? <clears throat> I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. You sound like fucking, um. Is it Chase from Dragon Ball Z? Who? What's the, um, the new Force guy? The gun, yeah, the red Chase. guy with the white hair. That's not Chase. Chase? Yeah, Jace or whatever. No, hold on. Captain Ginyu. Uh, yeah, that is Jace. Jace. Yeah. Witness is accused because he's lying. <laughs> My favourite part I from that... I emphatically request there would be no break, Your Honour. My favourite part from that, right, is... There's like a part where like... It's like all of them and like Captain Ginyu's like... 
Oh. I think it's the scene where, like, Krillin, Gohan, and, like, um, the other guy are there. Piccolo? No, not Piccolo. Vegeta. Yeah, Vegeta, that's right. And, like, like, a Jice makes, like, a joke or something. He then, like, laughs. It cuts to, like, <laughs> like, a shot of a, the three heroes. And then, like, you can hear in the background, like, fucking, <laughs> like, uh, Captain Guinea go, like, shut up! And then, like, fucking, uh, Joyce goes, like, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> it's fucking, that's, that's gotta be, like, a dub-only thing. Because I don't think a ja- the Japanese would have come up with something that good. Mm. <laughs> don't get smug! Mr. White! Oh, okay. Oh, well, see, I looked at the other window and then I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then, she turned and ran for the door. Then you did it with a single blow. Flap! Hmm, flap indeed. Very well, you may begin the cross examine Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. Da, da, da. This is almost over. As if, like, in a court case, they just kept, let you keep revising your testimony. Like, that's not how a court works, surely. Probably not, no. Cross examination. Remember, press everything. What fall? You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Hello? Oh yeah, I'm very tired. Huh? Oh, oh, that on the glass light stand! Phoenix. (coughs) 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 Sorry. Sorry, I just had a bit of a coughing thing. (laughs) Huh? What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y- yes. The hen. So sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. I think I already know. Do you? Yeah, how could he have seen that fall from the window? It was to the left. Well, what do you think you should do then? You should probably press everything anyway, just in case. Because they might. Well, not that, but... Hmm. Why? Me? Well, I was instructed not to- WAIT! One moment, give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I am so, so confused. Your Honor, please, I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgered any further. Mr. Wright. Please refrain from badgering the witness. Pussy. Yes, Your Honor. Very well. The witness may continue his account. Da, 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 da. You fell asleep for a minute there. I was waiting for you to read it. But then I realized you were going to read it. Yeah. No, no, no! Triple no! How would I? How could I? I see nothing on about the witness knowing the name of the victim. Mr. Wright, I will not have you harrying the witness. What the fuck does that word mean? Now before you said that she was hit before she ran. 
Yes, I must have been confused. But I don't worry. We all know what happened now. Oh, good Lord, eat. What did you do then? What did I do then? I gave chase, of course. <laughs> no, no, not me. The killer, I mean. There is enough. <laughs> you know? All right, thank you, Miles. Then you did a ring with a single ball. Fwap! That doesn't sound like the savage attack from your earlier testimony. Oh, ho, ho, yes, well, I'm a man of peace, you see. Phoenix. He's getting all this tongue in his. He's probably afraid I'll catch him on something. Well, you kind of already did. <laughs> he literally just admitted to killing someone. Yeah, um, I think it's the next. No, I don't think it's that one. Yeah, I get. No, it is that one, never mind. But do you know what evidence no. to press? Yes. You... What one? Full fan. <laughs> good job. <laughs> You're pretty good at this. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I know. Ugh. Not that one, but the previous one. Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. What? Look at this. These are the four parts to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? Oh, fuck! <laughs> R ridiculosity! Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. And you literally said you chased someone that you were killing <laughs> five minutes ago. In fact, you didn't even be able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards of glass of the glass light stand. I think the glass might actually be like a red herring on it. I'm not sure. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment it fell. And then the place you could have seen that from? Inside the Fay Law offices. Papa! In other words, you're at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Gah! I might convict him a bit. Prepare yourself, Mr. White. You're gonna start laughing. I'm not sure, Mr. White. You did it, didn't you, Mr. Your Honor? I, I, I miss me. God damn it, Edgeworth. That's far enough, Phoenix, right? What? <laughs> I forgot about Edgeworth. How could you? Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? <laughs> what? What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. Wiretap? Order, order! Mr. Edward, explain to the court what you mean by this. Let's go to members of the court. Mr. White is slightly confused. 
Allow me to explain. As you know, Mr. White is a CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office, and by who? Hmm. No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Fay's office. Am I correct? Correct! You are most correct, Miles! Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the thing called law offices. That is when I saw that a cursed light stand. Now I'm confused! Please explain to the court what this means, Mr. Rips. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Fay is trying to remain the his <laughs> He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. White would like you to believe Mr. White was the murderer. However, it is the fact that Mr. White has been to that office well before the murder took place. And when he went to the when he went to place the wiretap, you could have seen the glass slide stand then. And oh, Mr. Phoenix Rat Fury is revealed for the basis conjecture it is. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Oof. Eh, <laughs> leave it to me. The wiretapping. Sounds like a really shitty movie. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the fate and called low offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. That is it? You think a massive CEO of the company would send someone else to kill a girl? You'd think so, wouldn't you? Correct! That is right! Well, I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. You know what the plan is. Unlike Phoenix. Press it all! <laughs> you didn't even let him finish! Miss April may know the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wire takes place before the murder. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just drinking water. Was it really you that went into the office, or was it Miss May? I didn't find fingerprints several days old when found in the fair and cold law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White. Hang on, you can't just fucking say that. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went into the fan code law offices. Da, 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 da. Why did you tap Mia's phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. <laughs> like shit, it doesn't. Blue Corp is the detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. Why did you notice something is innocuous as a light stand? That's a funny word. The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a mutatious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Alright, bluff shit. Maybe don't bluff that hard. Yeah, I'm just saying what we have. Oh, by the way, you can check the phone by uh, pressing A.
I mean, that that is at the beginning of September. Hmm. Can we dispute that? Can you check the date on the um, autopsy? No, you can't. Okay. Huh. Why would the white tap be in the hotel room then? That is interesting, isn't it? Would they, wouldn't that be to get the phone call? I guess they could have got the wire tap and then taken it back from there. I guess so. I'm gonna try it. Try what? The wire tap in the hotel room. What? Yeah. Tiss, tiss. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Yeah, even the walkthrough says that you fell there, so... That's one of the many required fails in this series. Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? Yes, you are a Phoenix. Phoenix over here. Oh god, I have to do the Mia voice again, don't I? Huh? Never give up, Phoenix! Oh god. M -m -m Mia? That's meant to happen. Where? Where am I? The waiting lobby. What happened? Oh right. I lost a child. I was hallucinating. That's funny. Ah, you're finally awake! What? Hey, Phoenix! I'm so confused. Actually, I'm gonna... Gek! There's no way to greet an old friend! Phoenix, I want you to look at me! You're... Maya? Didn't you know the Fae women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeating card, it appears that it was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So Maya is channeling you, Mia? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> What do I do with it? Look at the front. Of the receipt! The front? I like how this didn't occur to him before. <laughs> you this shit lawyer. It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous apartment store. One million, one thousand? Yeah, one thousand. <laughs> September 4th. That's right, Phoenix. I was standing on the day before I was killed. Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? Hey. Yeah. He said he saw Santa a week before the murder. There you go. I think the cop was about to reconvene. No new anything. You know you're innocent, but now you just have to agree with it. Like, why didn't I just introduce the receipt, like, seeing the front of it? That way we didn't have to go to the storyline of Mia actually being Maya. You know? Look, Mia being Maya is really important. Okay? I mean... But now 
may have your evidence. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant rather... Are you alright, Mr. Wright? Yes, sorry. You're right. I love that sprite. That's I'm my favourite yeah. one. Then let's start when we... Your Honour, there is nothing to go back to. The cross examination of Mr. White is finished. That is all All that is required now is you pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. <laughs> Your Fuck Honor. no! Please, give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. But as Mr. Andrew have noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I see. Well, let's give Phoenix right his last chance. Very well! Cocky bastard. You may begin your cross-examination. Okay, so pr it's pretty obvious what statement it's on. Yes. Well, I think. Is it? Yeah. Wait a minute. You missed it by one! No, 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 no. Wait, I'm just making 100% sure. Yeah, damn it. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Bruh, you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the other side? Yeah. How did I not notice this either? Your honor. Would you tell the court we've written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. hmm. Well, a glass light stamp. And the day of purchase? Why, well, that's the day before the murder. You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Fay and Co. law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. I'm not, I'm not voice acting that. That'll wreck what? my throat more. You know? Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No! That's impossible. achievable. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. Ba ba ba! But I think you'll agree you can't judge me as guilty under these circumstances. Edgeworth. <laughs> that is exactly what everyone says. Not so fast, Phoenix, right? Eh? <coughs> oh, wait, I forgot it's Edgeworth. There is a certain fiddle logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo. I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry in this matter. Oh, do I remember this being the end of the trial? Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. <laughs> Well, Mr. Edworth, if anyone's going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have, been, have any basis in factual evidence. I see. Objection denied. What? Oh, I swear it ended there. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? The witness will stay. Phoenix, <laughs> read this note out loud. Your Honor, if I may. 
Oof. I have something I'd like to read to the court. Sometimes I wonder why they make you do this. I guess it's just to make you feel like you're playing a game? The memo me had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Desist! Halt! Please stop! Make him stop! How how did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now! Or else this list will be released to the public, friends. Is no one else like, hang on a minute, where the fuck did this girl come from? No. The girl that we're like, trying for a murder? Yeah. I, I confess. I confess. I did it. I, I hit Miss Mia with, with the thicker. Case closed, Your Honor. I know it ended then. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? You've done it again! That was quite a spirit defense. Thanks, only judge in the world. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. Oh, no. I'd rather have this judge than the other one, to be honest. <laughs> this court finds the defense. <laughs> rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty! All the confetti for us. That's what happens in court. That is all. This court is adjourned. Right, now can you figure out the other thing? Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations! You're lucky I was born with me. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. And when you meet it. Thank you, Phoenix. You used a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. My time here is running out. Huh? Huh, indeed. My well, power is still weak. I can't stay here in that long. This is stupid, man. What is stupid? This whole storyline of me and Maya and fucking me coming back to life. No, it is not! She's not back to life, you doof! What? No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure I will meet again. Chief. Yeah, I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight say 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Chief, Mia. Da 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 Mia. I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I can. Well, I'm really hungry. How am I on a burger? Mia? Well, <laughs> usually in your face. Mia. What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. Maya? What, then I look like my sister? Hmm, I might be able to use that. I don't mean things. Go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Fuck off. <laughs> uh, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See, Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of her. She means the office. This office. I'm one has to help with the new writing club law offices, right? And who went there but me? My favorite, pointing for duty. Wait, no. I'm saying, well, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick, my hair, ready to get down to business. Nick? Yeah. Who's Nick? Phoenix. How's is Nick a nickname for Phoenix? No, Phoenix is a nickname for Nick, you doof. What? Is it really? Yes. Has that been established? Yes, it has! Fucking Larry called him Nick. Jesus Christ. You, you 
know about it. Hey, wait a minute. And you said that's what your friend Larry called it. You know what this means? We're partners. You know, when I think about it, it is my fault I'm here now. <coughs> but, if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right and Co. Law Officers. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Ah, oh, it's all adorable. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, what? Come on, Phoenix. I'll always be here watching. Right. Okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers. There's a red burger during this down there, three. Come on, time's a wasting. Okay, wait up. Time's a wasting. The end. Hooray! You unlocked the next one!